One of the difficult things for a materialist, naturalist, atheist, evolutionist is human consciousness. Most of them just default value down to that there's no such thing, and consciousness is an illusion created by brain chemicals firing our synapses between the neurons in our brain. Uh, that, that, of course, uh, would then cast into doubt whether consciousness of the evolutionists making those statements is valid, since it could be an illusion also, and so goes the self-contradiction and the necessary self-doubt involved. Maddening, isn't it? But then if you go ahead with the biblical worldview, things do make a little more sense, and we realize, well, even if our senses are kidding us, it's all we've got to go on. We have to trust our senses. Back in the old day, they say, have you taken leave of your senses? Usually meant you've gone crazy. But we, we go ahead and stick with our senses. Uh, all of these comments have been in the men's of bulletin lately that I've been, uh, things I've been quoting, the men's of bulletin of uh, just this past July. But there's one more letter to the editor I would like to go ahead and look at. And it's another Menzen like me who uh, actually is criticizing the idea that consciousness um, you know, and, well, and then their their original jumping off point was the discussion on the afterlife. Uh, saying there's no afterlife uh, makes several assumptions. And this uh, fella here uh, in Menza from North Carolina says that uh, uh, it's uh, er erroneous. Assuming that consciousness arises in the context of evolution, assuming that evolution explains everything and that can actually start life, can start new species, and this is unproven, that people are just animals and actually aren't any special creation at all. Uh, well, then in that case, uh, uh, as even Darwin said, who could trust the mind and convictions of a monkey if such a mind even has convictions? And the, the idea, ignoring the idea that humans are a quantum leap or seven above all the other consciousnesses, Animals are conscious. They have emotions, feelings, they dream, uh, they communicate with each other and with us. Uh, they, there's a mind inside there uh, and a consciousness, even in the animals. But we, you know, the other animals don't write books about such things like we do. <laughs> they just roll with it. Uh, so we're a little bit uh, different. You got to admit that. It's entirely possible that consciousness uses physicality as a temporary learning mechanism. In other words, our temporal earthly lives here. And then our consciousness will go on into the afterlife. The trouble comes when we try to form conclusions about things that are outside the scope of known science. And it doesn't mean known logic. It means the scientific method. You can't experiment on the afterlife. Some things I've heard about that people, when they die, they lose a quarter of a pound, and so your soul weighs a quarter of a pound. Well, that could have been just your last breath exhaling. Uh, but scientifically speaking, there are things that are beyond the reach of a lockstep scientific method uh, with question, hypothesis, procedure, results, and conclusion. There are things that we can't experiment with, and we're free to use our imaginations about that. And uh, some answers might seem illogical, some answers might seem logical, but none of them are provable. Without data, you don't have the scientific method. But that does not mean you don't have logic and thinking and, of course, opinion. So let's remember. Uh, science isn't and cannot be and never was intended to be, and even by the rules of science, can't be the final determinant of very many things, only certain things. And we use those to make uh, microwaves and uh, space shuttles and things like that. Yep, that's fine. But as far as things like consciousness, um, these are our transcendent things. Uh, but to say that because it isn't science, then there's no such thing as love or or uh, altruism, or greed, or avarice. Uh, those things really are real. And the Bible talks about them being real. Uh, God has some of the emotions that we do. Uh, he can't lie uh, because he's better than that. It's, not a, it's against his nature. Um, I can't have uh, babies 
um, out of my body because it's against the nature that I have being male. So God can't lie. Is God a man that he might lie? No, no, he can't. But so anyway, there, there's a little theology thrown in there. But remember, science isn't and can't be and shouldn't be the end all. But people who worship science in the religion called scientism will tell you that. But remember, they're no smarter than you. They just are a little more insistent about you swallowing their beliefs without question. Don't buy it. Keep thinking on your own and praying. God bless Dr. J.